2 Timothy 3 verse 1 This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. 2 Timothy 3 verse 2 For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Second Timothy 3 verse 3 Without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. Second Timothy 3 verse 4 Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Second Timothy 3 verse 5 Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. Second Timothy 3 verse 6 For of this sort are they which creep into houses, and lead captive silly women laden with sins, and led away with diverse lust. 2 Timothy 3 verse 7 Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth. 2 Timothy 3 verse 8 Now as Janus and Jambres which stood Moses, so do this also resist the truth, men of corrupt minds, reprobate concerning the faith. 2 Timothy 3 verse 9 But they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men, as theirs also was. Revelation 1 verse 3 Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Second Peter 3 verse 3 Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. James 5 verse 3 Your gold and silver is conquered, and the rest of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasures together for the last days. Romans 12 verse 1 I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Romans 12 verse 2 And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Galatians 1 verse 3 Grace be to you and peace from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. Galatians 1 verse 4 Who gave himself for our sins that he might deliver us from this present evil world according to the will of God and our Father.